Just when you thought this beef couldn't have gotten crazier, Kendrick Lamar just dropped another diss track towards Drake titled Not Like Us. And this track right here is looking like it's going to be a hit. With his diss records racking up tens of millions of views on YouTube in less than a week and even less than 24 hours, we can say that Kendrick applying pressure on Drake is an understatement. And for the cover of the single, you could see a bird's eye view of Drake's mansion with the offender red markers letting everybody know that OVO is a house full of predators and I find it kind of odd that Drake denied the rumors about him having a kid but but he didn't deny having predators around his camp that was kind of weird to me Kendrick teamed up with DJ Mustard on this beat and once I heard DJ Mustard's tag I knew it was up from there not only is this song a hit but he's name dropping Drake and OVO more than ever and not taking his foot off the gas Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to sell black one. And Baka got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Kendrick is letting everybody know that he could do that conscious rap and give you bars and rap on a soulful type beat, but but let's not play like Kendrick can't drop hits. Because a lot of you was running around with the Kendrick is boring, Kendrick can't drop hits making fun of Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, and even making fun of To Pimp a Butterfly, like he wasn't dropping crazy hits on his damn album. Man, I wonder what Drake is thinking right now. I think that Drake thought that Kendrick probably had like one song or two at the most to come at him and not drop anything but bars and, and just disappear for another five years. But Kendrick's not playing around this time. He was never playing around to begin with. <laughs> Not Like Us is going crazy at the moment, and each day that goes by, people are favoring Kendrick more and more. We're seeing people jam and dance to it, and it's all organic. There's no TikTok challenge, there's no put this hashtag in just to make it go viral, it's all organic. And that's what it's all about. Even DJ Academics is going crazy over this record, and we all know he's on Drake's side and he's Drake's biggest supporter. And I like how Kendrick just dropped the record and that was it. Just a tweet on Twitter with the link to the song and that's it. Here you go guys, go crazy. And that just shows why Kendrick is the perfect competitor for Drake. Not only is there history there, but both were in that conversation for best rapper alive amongst fans. But until Drake got caught with the whole ghostwriting situation, we can say that Kendrick is a way better rapper than Drake. And even before the ghostwriting situation, Kendrick was always superior to Drake lyrically. And Drake can rap too, but he's not messing with Kendrick. I'm sorry. I think this song right here is Kendrick's back to back. And I don't mean back to back as in Drake's career is over or anything like that, but this track right here is the one where he's just name dropping. He's just going in. This is a bomb right here. Towards Drake. This is an attack on Drake and his whole organization. Like the OV Ho thing. Like that's whew, that's wild. BBL Drizzy, I'm at the pool party. And they just called you a pit. They backed it up at the party. It's so catchy and it just makes you want to grip walk. Like, it makes you want to just look up OT Genesis tutorials on YouTube and just start sea walking. I'm just really curious on how Drake is going to come back with a record to counter Not Like Us. He's going to have to come out with a hit. Because this one right here by Kendrick Lamar is definitely a hit. But Drake is going to have to come out with a hit himself. And he's no stranger to coming out with hits. So. I think it should be fairly easy to come out with a hit, but will it hit more than Not Like Us? I don't know, man. It's looking a little slow at the moment. Drake thought that he was the only one that can just keep dropping records all the time and Kendrick can't do the same. He just chooses not to at times, but Kendrick could go at you. And not only is Kendrick dropping a lot of songs, they're all quality songs too. With different nuggets and Easter eggs hidden in there, it just makes it fun. Along with the lyricism too. Drake is gonna have to respond again soon. And probably today, he needs to respond today because this record is going crazy right now. 
But knowing Kendrick, if Drake drops, Kendrick's going to drop exactly right after. So I know Drake is pulling his braids right now. Just like, damn, like, go away. <laughs> Drake right now is going to have to pull a 3-1, you know, the LeBron, how he came back to beat the uh, Golden State when he was on the Cavs. He's going to have to pull that because right now, Kendrick Lamar is winning. Even Drake fans got to admit that. Come on. You guys got to be honest. I like both artists. I like Kendrick. I like Drake. But Kendrick is really applying pressure right now. You guys have to admit that. Come on. But who am I to tell you what to think? If you have your opinion, you have your opinion. But Kendrick is definitely winning right now at this moment. And it's looking real slow for Drake. If you got to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and like videos like this. Please hit that like button. It would help me so, so much. Comment down below about this whole Drake and Kendrick situation. I know there's just so many videos and so much things going on right now with this beef. But yeah, you guys know what to do. So yeah, I'm out.